Good afternoon from the CBS 19 newsroom. I'm Jillian Sheridan. And I'm Justin Early. A Tyler man was sentenced to 10 years in prison today on child pornography charges. 21-year-old Ursi Wynn pleaded guilty to 15 counts of child porn possession and waived the right to a trial by jury. Wynn will not pay a fine on the third-degree felony. He also waived his right to an appeal. We now have the surveillance video from the Food Fest robbery in Tyler, and police hope it can help them catch the thief. Police say just before 9 Sunday night, a man wearing all black with a Halloween mask covering his face held the store clerk at gunpoint demanding money. There have been other robberies there in the past few years, including one this past November. Visit CBS19.tv to see the video and help police find the robber. There is a warning tonight for East Texas seniors. Fake contractors are scamming elderly homeowners. We'll show you what's happening and how to avoid becoming a victim. It is one of the most recognizable places in East Texas, but the Tyler Rose Garden may be in for a major renovation. We give you a preview of the master plan and what changes you may see. The Tyler Police Department, Drug Enforcement Agency, and Super One Foods are hosting a medication clean-out event. Just drive up and drop off your unused and expired medications for safe disposal. It's happening this Saturday at the Super One Foods on North Northwest Loop 323 in Tyler from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. You won't be asked any questions. You don't have to get every car either. They'll just take it right there at the window. All that plus weather and sports tonight on KYTX CBS 19 News at 5 and 6.